Raphael D7, baby, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, bear relax, bear compass. You know what I'm saying? Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, motherfucker. All right, man. Eventually, we're going to have to start bleeping out some of Raphael's content because he cuts so much he never get monetized. But Sadie Nash, man, why they keep going at Sadie Nash? Jaleese. Now you got point and shoot, and they saying he did see that. That might be true. That might not be. I don't know. I really don't. And I really don't care, bro. I really don't care. But at the end of the day, let's talk about it. All of y'all. Been in each one of y'all DMs. I didn't holler at you. Sadie Nash the least. But Sadie Nash, man, that nigga was the only blogger ever and ever a blogger them that then shared my fucking blog, bro. Besides Lex, you see what I'm saying? So even though I chop it up with y'all in the DMs, sometimes when y'all feel like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all think I'm a nerd from over there, but I'm really him from right here, you know what I'm saying? But see, we was trained a little different. You know what I'm saying? We was trained a little different. It ain't even about the streets. It's about winning. Winning is the only thing that mattered to any a uh, real motherfucker I was raised around. It's taking care of their people and getting this money. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't about shitting on nobody, parade, hating on nobody, yada, yada, yada. You feel me? Just chopping up some real game with some real players. You feel me? But that's just how I was raised. That's how I was taught. It's like, bruh, um, get some business of your own so you don't got to worry about nobody else's. So when I'm doing these blogs, if you notice, I don't talk bad about y'all niggas. You know why? Because that's not my place, nigga, because I am the biggest piece of shit of all y'all. I promise. <laughs> believe me, really, believe me, bruh. I'm, I'm not lying to you. Like, all this, all the fuck shit I did, I did a lot of fuck-ass shit in the streets, bruh. In life, in general. Just like, I'm just like a despicable human being on, on these on these blogs. I'm trying to, hey, <laughs> rap y'all is that maybe? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, we all got flaws. You feel me? In this, like, school, you want to point out everybody else's, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, make fun of me. You know how that shit go? But I just feel like Sadie Nash is a black man. He do be trying to do a lot of good stuff behind closed doors that y'all just don't know or don't see after he got a little bit of clout. That nigga, he ain't selfish. And, like, all y'all know me better than Sadie Nash, even though none of y'all know me, but all y'all done chopped it up with me. Why don't y'all never share a nigga blog? This nigga got a hundred... He had a 100,000 subscribers when he shared one of my videos, bruh. He already had 100,000 subscribers. Didn't even give a fuck. Real nigga. So when you, we talk about real niggas, fuck the streets, bruh. All them niggas is... What's real about being a street nigga, bruh? You're just a despicable human being, and I just told you I, I could relate to that. So um, ain't nothing real about a street nigga, nigga. There ain't nothing. There ain't, there ain't, you can't name one real, name, when y'all say real street, name one real thing a street nigga do. Please let me know. I, I just I just need to know what what real comes from a street nigga. So when y'all saying real, real is the actions a person take to be honest wholeheartedly and standing on principles and some type of origin of character, bruh. I'm just saying, Raphael 87 baby only graduated from the eighth grade, bruh. But a nigga had to learn. See, I had to learn the hard way. So when we talking about each other, be mindful, bruh. We all want to win. Raphael D7, baby, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'm ambitious, come from the trenches, no one that love us but mama. I can't go against the grain. How could you love me? You don't understand my pain. I'm a piece of shit. I deserve the flame. Thought my daddy had come back, but he never came. Thinking, how did he love me? He left me in the rain. Ronnie was the first nigga I seen cook cocaine. He was mad, he said he couldn't be giving out free game. The older I get, I play less games. I got no love in me, I'll pop your brain. One life to live, don't get in my way. Win or lose, nigga, someone always gotta pay. Man, I 
try to pray at least three times a day My bodies are in shells, I hope my soul float away I remember at times having nowhere to stay Snoring on cocaine, I pray this pain go away My mama used to say, it'd be okay All my aunties gone, it'd never be the same Teach a young life before God calls your name We all make mistakes, never be ashamed Learn from that shit, elevate your game And when I'm gone Elevate my name, Raphael, I never been a lame All I ever did was try to maintain And I'm loving this shit, we thugs in this shit I ain't getting caught, fuck you in that bitch It's a trip, I could've been a pimp Probably could've took your hoe But I'm a bad pimp, I give the bitch the dough Especially if she got some kids Niggas, you dumb or slow Niggas, time to grow Really time to elevate Get your own job, nigga Why you always gotta hate? Nigga, I can't stand niggas, niggas always coming late It's like when Moses came down from talking to God Them niggas was worshiping calves I got ten commandments, first one kissed my ass Gave too many passes, now it's time to feel my wrath My Uncle Andre was so gangsta, he put a nigga in the body cast All my life I was taught how to squeeze and blast You can't scare me, nigga, I kill us both You can't scare me, nigga, I sink the boat You can't scare me, nigga, I'm so cutthroat